we can all use a little extra joy and happiness in our lives. I know that when I focus on things that bring me joy and happiness, it really helps with my overall well-being and health. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 little things that you can do to bring you joy and happiness throughout your day. My life is so much more enjoyable when I can pepper a few of these simple things throughout my day. I hope that these simple tips will help bring joy and happiness into your day too. Cultivating gratitude. It is impossible for us to be angry, upset, hurt, or sad when we have a heart that's filled with gratitude. By appreciating the little things in my life, it really helps shift my awareness and focus off of my worries and concerns and onto just feeling happiness, joy, and gratitude. Sometimes when I'm feeling extremely upset or overwhelmed, it's hard for me to reach for a big gratitude. So sometimes what I do is I reach for the little things that just bring me joy and I try to appreciate those. Like sitting outside in the morning on my porch with a hot cup of coffee, enjoying the sunrise. When I pause and just notice the appreciation I have for the little things, my mood shifts and then I become lighter, happier, and more at peace. Walking barefoot outside, something about just feeling the connection of the grass under my feet makes me feel like a little kid again. It instantly lightens my spirit. I feel carefree and playful, just as if I was a little kid running outside on my lawn. As we become adults, we kind of start to lose touch of that playful, energetic, carefree side of us. And it feels so incredible to just have that little glimpse of remembering what it's like to be a carefree kid. Have something to look forward to. It doesn't need to be a big trip or anything really over the top exciting, but just something that when you think about it happening or coming about that you smile and get excited for. I get giddy with excitement when we are getting ready to go on a trip to the beach or even just camping in the mountains. And just the anticipation of having a date night with my husband is really exciting when you're getting through your work week. It doesn't have to be big, it can be really small, but this is life, is to be able to look forward with anticipation and excitement and joy for the things that are coming up. It can be a big trip every year or something just small that's gonna be happening in the week. Celebrating the little wins. I like to reward myself and give myself a pat on the back um, over my little wins. It really boosts my self-esteem when I acknowledge my wins, both big and small. And my rewards, they aren't big. Maybe it's just having a picnic with my husband or buying a beautiful bouquet of flowers that week for myself. It's just acknowledgement and a little pat on the back that feels extremely empowering to me. Surround yourself with items that spark joy. This is a really unique way to look at the possessions that I have in my home. Sometimes as a minimalist, I can get really caught up in like how things are functioning or the utility of them. But I really value the things that just bring a smile to my face, like fresh flowers. I have them every week in my home because to me, fresh flowers are the ultimate sign of natural beauty. Having the possessions around you that just make you smile and feel good. What are some of the things in your house that bring you joy? I'd love to hear. Also, I invite you to please click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. Thanks so much. Dress up for yourself. Even if you work from home like I do and you don't have many reasons to dress up, it lifts your spirit so much to just get pretty for the day for no one else than yourself. Because I work from home, I'm very casual, but sometimes it feels so nice to just put on a little extra makeup, 
put on some pretty jewelry, maybe a dress, paint my toenails, and feel pretty for the day. I have one in particular dress that's long, cotton, flowy, it's not fancy, but every time I put it on with some big boho jewelry and some little wedge heels, I feel like a million bucks in this dress. Do hobbies that you enjoy. Hobbies are a wonderful way to just bliss out. They are so therapeutic. They allow you to zone out and detach and put all of your energy and focus into something that you really enjoy. When I want to feel relaxed, happy, and at peace, I do one of the hobbies that I love. I picked up knitting several years ago and it has become something that I can do when I just want to zone out. It's almost become like this meditative practice for me. Baking is another go-to hobby that I have. I bake bread once a week at least and I also do a baked good. It's so nice to be able to accomplish something that tastes delicious and then I sit down with my fresh baked good and a cup of tea and it is the most relaxing, soothing thing I can do. Connect with nature. Nature has such a calming, healing, soothing power for all of us. And you don't have to live out in the country or in the mountains or on the beach to enjoy the beauty of nature. I mean, in the middle of cities, you have beautiful songbirds. Everywhere there's a sunrise and a sunset to admire. I am continually fascinated by the endless beauty that nature offers. Take time to find the joy and relish in the beauty that nature has to offer. Watch a funny movie. Science has proven that laughter has many positive effects on our health. It raises endorphins, it brings oxygen to our heart and our lungs, it reduces stress and anxiety. Laughter is an immediate way to improve your mood and feel happy. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I have a go-to comfort show that I watch and it's Andy Griffith because Andy Griffith is like always positive and easygoing. It doesn't have a complex storyline and it makes me smile every time. So if you were to choose one of your favorite comfort movies or TV shows that always makes you laugh, what would it be? Visit with a friend. Life can get busy and sometimes we get so busy that we forget to reach out and connect with our friends and family. It is always lovely to catch up with one of my friends over lunch or over the phone and just hear how they are doing, socializing, connecting to community, and being a support for someone else and allowing them to support me is one of the joys of life. The best thing about life is feeling joy and happiness. Hopefully some of these tips will help you find a little joy in your life today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow and check out some of these other videos on mindful living. Thank you.